Two of the nation's biggest issues have revolved around police brutality and the upcoming presidential election. This is why Hip Hop DX felt it would be a good idea to speak with the Hip Hop Caucus's president and CEO, Reverend Lennox Yearwood Jr. Founded in 2004, the goal of the organization is to connect the hip hop community to the civic process to build power and create positive change. The nonprofit and nonpartisan entity emerged from Russell Simmons Hip Hop Summit Action Network, Jay Z's Voice Your Choice, AFL CIO's Hip Hop Voices, and P. Diddy's Citizen Change, aka Vote or Die. In the clip, Yearwood Jr. explains how the organization attempts to keep its distance as a nonpartisan organization while using hip hop to enact change. Needed the Respect My Vote campaign in 2008. Many people were excited about President Barack Obama. I mean, they were like, man, we're going to have a black president. We held true, actually, that we wanted to be nonpartisan. We had to had our, some folks are tested. Are you really nonpartisan? Are you not? Are you, are you really just saying that? We actually had our biggest test when we had the first guy running for office and everybody was leaving their organizations to be behind him. We actually says that while we are excited about having the possibility at that time of the first black president, we remain true that it's not about who we endorse, but who endorses us. Not who we're with, but who's with us. Because it may be a time, as it has been, when we will be on different pages, on different sides of the table, regarding that crack cocaine disparity or regarding the Keystone XL pipeline, when we weren't on the same page with the Obama administration. And we wanted to be clear that we are here for our community. There many times we will agree with you, but if you're not with us, then we'll be out there in those streets. And this was what was important. But my vote campaign was created. And when people were running, actually, for around President Obama, we saw the need regarding ex-offenders. We said, you know, there is now a bias in our community, that kind of, each other, that, that mainstream, where it was just kind of like this very much Harvard and buttoned down kind of, you know, middle class African American. We said, well, there's a whole segment of our community who's not quite buttoned down and hasn't gone to Harvard or, you know, is not living that kind of lifestyle, but are good people. Um, and they deserve the right to be held to. Hence, where the Respect My Vote campaign came from. And we actually went out and said we wanted to find, to really energize ex-offenders to vote. And that's how it actually came about. Well, we actually went to T.I. at that time to be our spokesperson. And you understand, now he's become, if you get, at, in 2008, T.I. wasn't the most polished, um, you know. In fact, he was, he was actually under house arrest when we called him up. Uh, um, he was like, you know, I can't leave my house. Uh, you don't want me to be your spokesperson. He said, yes, because the community rec recognizes you as a voice. And then we said, we can get you to vote. And he wanted to vote. He wanted to vote. He wanted to be part of the campaign. It would create the change. And so that's how uh, the From My Vote campaign came about. From that standpoint, always keeping, not our distance, but always keeping us where we're true to our community. And I think this is the one thing. Like, a lot of organizations forget that. Um, I think that... That's why I love being part of the Hip Hop Caucus because it's very easy sometimes to kind of get on the bandwagon. Um, and when you're hip hop, um, you know, you don't always get the easy road when our team goes different places in the Hip Hop Caucus. Now, when the Hip Hop world is easier, that's our world. But when you go outside that world, you have to go to conferences and different things. And the Hip Hop Caucus, you know, folks always ask you, oh, you know so and so, you know this. And like, yeah, but we do policy as well, and we do that probably better than anybody in this industry. Um, but we keep our lane because we also we want to fight for that 15 year old. October of last year, many were surprised when P. Diddy reversed his stance on voting by calling it a scam. Yearwood Jr. spoke with the media mogul about his attitude toward the political process, and it was revealed that Diddy had more of an issue with campaign financing in the clip. Um, Diddy's um, creating, and I was with that campaign, Vote or Die, um, actually Citizen Change in 2004. And then about um, 12 years later, um, saying that voting is not a solution. Um, I think one, it's real. I think that what Diddy was saying um, was that, that we have too much money involved in politics. And until we really have campaign finance reform, until we get money out of politics, then we really can't shape anything. And we still allow for, which is uh, a situation where we are allowing, um, uh, which is a Citizens United, which was a, a, a case put forth by the Supreme Court, which allowed for 
uh, corporations to be considered almost as persons themselves and to put unlimited amounts of money into elections, which then devalued the, you know, each man, each woman have your vote. And so what he was saying in that instance is that if we continue to not have to have campaign finance reform in which we can regulate how much money is being put into politics, particularly by corporations, then it's a joke. And, and, and if we don't regulate that, if we, if we allow for uh, us not to regulate, and even further, if we allow for voting rights to be rolled back, as we now uh, uh, have this encounter, the 30th anniversary of the uh, uh, Shelby County versus Holder case, um, which rolled, gutted parts of the Voting Rights Act. If we allow for the gutting of the Voting Rights Act, if we allow for Citizens United to have unlimited amounts of, of money to be spent on elections, then what Diddy is saying um, is that, listen, then what's it matter? And finally, Yearwood took time to speak on the upsurge in police brutality, including the recent deaths of Alton Sterling and Philando Castile. I mean, you know, it's, there's a lot of anxiety. Um, people are um, upset about seeing the continuous of young black men and black women being killed by uh, law enforcement. And so there's a lot of anxiety in our, in our communities to want to see justice and to want to see um, change happen. And, you know, besides that, I mean, I feel, because I work with uh, the Hip Hop Caucus, I feel empowered to know that there's an organization like the Hip Hop Caucus that's out here and around to fight for justice and equality in this country. Let us know what you think in the comment section, and if you haven't registered to vote already, please visit usa.gov slash register to vote. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube page, and as always, for more music and news, hit up hiphopdx.com.